Yeah, I don't think the uh, the current temperatures are any threat to the snow that they're making there or in the Laurel Highlands. Yeah, I think it's going to be cold enough. Um, how cold is it going to get for this Thanksgiving? Let's check in right now with meteorologist Ray Petlin. Hi, Ray. Well, the Thanksgiving holiday doesn't come with very cold temperatures, but leading up to tomorrow morning, we're going to keep the cold continuing. Temperatures right now are generally below freezing in most cases, so below th or 32 degrees or lower, with just a couple exceptions. One of those being Morgantown, one of those being Wheeling. Everyone else on our side of the map is cold. Actually, even as you look over in Ohio, those below freezing temperatures. Uh, looking outside, we have mainly clear skies right now in Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful looking night, but it's a cold one, and temperatures through tonight are going to slowly fall down into those mid-20s. The good news is there's not much of a breeze, so we won't have much of a wind chill, but it's going to be pretty cold all on its own. Temps go down to the mid-20s in Pittsburgh, some of the surrounding communities down into the lower 20s. So another frosty start to the day tomorrow, but we do warm it up. Through the day, we're going to find those temperatures working into the upper 40s, even a couple spots trying to flirt with that 50-degree mark. So we're going to keep those temperatures uh, on the upswing and getting into what we would consider mild temperatures for this time of year. Now, when it comes to temperatures this time of year, 48 is average. That's what we get tomorrow and pretty close to it on Thanksgiving Day. However, you notice the big drop between Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So we're going to drop a good 12 degrees between the high temperatures. That's typical of a cold front coming in. And when you have cold fronts coming in, typically you get some precipitation. So let's see how this works out. Tonight, mainly clear skies. Beautiful looking night. Again, very cold and very cold in the morning. I know some kids have school tomorrow morning, get the half day thing going on. Early on at the bus stop, just know it will be frigid. But once we get into the afternoon, temperatures will warm up. So as the temps increase, plan on the clouds to increase. So during the afternoon, we're going to get more clouds moving in here. And we should stay dry until the wee morning hours of Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, the early showers are going to be light and they're going to come in the form of rain. During the afternoon, I think we see more widespread rain taking over the region. And you can see 5 p.m., a pretty good uh, area of rain over us. But the back edge of this, that starts to mix with and change over to a little snow for early Friday morning. So it's back to the cold temperatures. Problematic snow, that is not looking like the case for Friday. Tonight, though, mostly clear and cold. Winds, they're going to become south. They're going to be much lighter than they were last night. They're going to be much lighter than they were today. Tomorrow, 48 degrees, warmer temperatures, but the clouds are going to be on the increase. So very cold start, but a mild finish to the day. So through the day, we warm up nicely, but the early part of the day where it's the coldest, that's going to be the brightest part of the day. So it's given a take as we go through Wednesday, but if you're traveling, that's very ideal weather. Thursday, you're looking at those rain showers. That transitions over to some early snow on Friday. I think a good chunk of the weekend is going to be dry, but chilly come Sunday afternoon. That's where we see some rain trying to transition back to snow, and then partly to mostly cloudy skies Monday and Tuesday of next week.